Hello everyone! In this lesson, we will learn how to rotate elements inside a 3D environment using the transform rotate function. So here in our code, we have our image. And it's sitting here in our browser. And up here, you can see we have a perspective of 500 pixels because, remember, every time we want to use the transform properties, we need to define the perspective first. So now let's start using the rotate function. First of all, we have rotate x, which will make the element rotate on its x axis. Then we have rotate y, which will make it rotate on its y axis. And finally, rotate z, which, of course, will make it rotate on its z axis. So let's start with rotate z. I will go right here inside the image selector and I will add transform rotate z. Let's say 120 degrees. And I will go to the browser and reload. Now, before we hover over the image, what Rotate Z will do is it will make the image rotate on its Z axis, which is like a line that passes from the screen to our eyes. So it shouldn't look any different from the Rotate function we used before when we were dealing with 2D transforms. So I will hover over the image, and you can see it rotates around the Z axis by 120 degrees. Good. So rotate Z actually is similar to rotate, which we learned before. Great. Next, we will talk about rotate X. I will go right here and change rotate Z to rotate X. And I want it to rotate by 60 degrees. And what this will do is it will make it rotate on its X axis, which is horizontal. So I will hover over the image. And you can see it rotates in 3D along the horizontal axis. So, for example, if I go back and change 60 degrees to 90 degrees, then go back and hover over the image, you can see the image will rotate by 90 degrees until it disappears. What's happening here is the image rotates until we can only see its edge. And since it has no thickness, it disappears. Then we have rotate Y. So I will go back and change rotate X to rotate Y and change the degrees back to 60 again. Then when I go and hover over the image, you can see it rotates on its Y axis, which is vertical this time. And that's it for this lesson, everybody, and I will see you in the next one. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified with my latest videos and updates.